relaxing day in the life of a guitarist player. strings for a living. I wonder who people want to see how to write like next. Okay, let's see here. Welcome back yet again to a video you clicked on by accident, trying to probably look up a band you do enjoy. We're VOV, and this is the How to Write Like series, where we regale you with mystical tales of a band's history that you requested, and then you start to feel a connection, a strong bond with these people, and then you know how to write like a musically. Let's start by remembering the year 2010. Here we can find your sister's pair of skinny jeans making drum covers for YouTube. This goofball right here, his name is Aaron Kitchen. And he was born on 9-11. That's so brutal. His musical conception began with his first band, Mr. Sis... Mr. Sister Fist. Welcome to another recording session with Mr. Fister Sister. Also, you see what I did there? Musical conception. Their first album was called Conception. I need a higher writer. As 2012 rolls around, Aaron Kutcher and Eddie Pixtuart stepped up their brutality game in a new project, Infinite Annihilator. In its first album, The Palpable Leprosy, Leprosy of Pollution, an album I myself related to quite deeply upon learning the inclusion of a prolapsing anus joke right in the title. Who does that even? I don't know. Cool guys, maybe? This album also unveiled to the world a 4.4 million times viewed video called Decapitation for an fuck. Bob the Burrito Man said it best when he said their music was great because it was unrealistic and it was absurd and it was extreme because it was a joke. It was for Talels. And you know what? We like it. Everybody likes it even if it's fake. It's fucking good. So 2013 flies on in and Aaron and Eddie decide to form another project in Black Tongue. <laughs> I'm pretty sure between these two bands, they've covered the entire spectrum of metal music beats. Anywho, back to Inflate the Anal Inhaler. For their second album, they recruited Dickie, a satanic Smeagol impersonator to record, I guess you call it vocals? The stench of faces and... Skip to 2016 and the album's here. We got it. It's, it's sodomize our precious little eardrums. The album was called the Elysian Grandival Galeriarch, which essentially translates to blissful, ancient, made up word. More noticeably, though, was the album's unveiling of a music video just waiting to break the internet faster than Kim Kardashian's ass. This absolute beauty of cinematography is called motherless miscarriage, and it's like, I can't. I'm not gonna try to add something to this. It's beautiful, it's perfect. I rate 8 out of 8, mate. It's great. The contrast between Aaron Ketchum and Andy Picard's music and their video is fucking brilliant. And how does one acquire a tone with which to murder infants? Well, just hop skip on down to your local Axe Effects brothel and solicit the services of a nearby prosta hooker tone. I use this one. It's called Brutal Carnage. Yeah. As for the drums, you see I got a kick here. I just, I just triggered the kick. I went over, I went to the mixing. I kicked a more kick and a triggered... The triggered patch kicks and the triggered- Woo! Okay, you feeling ready? I'm feeling ready. Let's do this. Step one is to acquire an infant. <laughs> okay, she's great. Now just annihilate it. <laughs> Step two is just shit hit the fan notes. Just like all these- Boom! Look at all those notes flying out of there. Look at all those notes go, killing orcs. Step three is this bipolar can't decide if it's shreddy or if it's chuggy. It doesn't know what it wants to be. Play some tremolo picking really fast. Repeat the last part. I don't know, just pretend it's like bees this time. Step seven, let's write a breakdown. It's a metal song. Oh, you can do heavier than that. Stops 11s, I'm times for sweeping. 
Step 12, you're gonna write this riff that just can't quite, just can't quite start up. Just can't quite get there. Just, just having some trouble. This poor guy. And then all of a sudden, oh fuck, he takes off like a go like a Mario Kart. He just starts zipping off around. Woo, blue mushroom! Play a lot of notes really fast. Borrow a transition from there it is murder. Grindy slam chords. You can find them anywhere at like your local game stop. You take half of half a breakdown, cut it in half, reduce the speed tempo by half then. Okay, I know it's not beat per week, but it's pretty gross. It's pretty disgusting. Step 18, the baby dies. Before the music video starts, thanks for watching. You want to buy a song? Bam. You want to buy a t-shirt? Bloom. You want to support us on Patreon? WAP. If you do that, then maybe we can quit our day jobs and make videos more. But if not, I guess starving is fine too.
The way you have your feet right now is pretty satanic. <laughs> yeah.